Hello my beautiful creators, welcome back to Monzon Media. Now since the release of Luminar Neo has come, there's been a little bit of negativity towards it and by all means they're all valid points. But in my opinion, the hero of Luminar Neo so far is the Relight AI function. And today I'm going to show you some real world use cases for this amazing feature. Now, before we get into the actual feature, I want to give you some context here. Typically, when you're shooting in midday sunlight, the conditions are really harsh. If you decide to expose for the background, like in this example, your subject's typically going to be underexposed. If you expose for the subject, your background is going to be washed out. So a lot of the times there's a balance that's uh, very hard to achieve in that type of lighting condition. If you have an external flash like a speed light or a portable strobe light, that's the best way to achieve the look that you want where you have the subject and the background exposed properly. Unfortunately, a lot of us don't have that type of gear. And for myself, I tend to just use natural light when I'm shooting people outdoors. And this is where Relight AI is so very useful. So as you see here on the workspace, we have the image. And first of all, I'm just going to tighten the crop a little bit. We're going to let that go through. And then the second thing I'll do is go into the accent AI here under enhance AI and just bring this all the way up to see if I like it. And you'll notice it really brings out the blue and starts to balance out the exposure quite a bit. And then under develop, I'm going to go into the highlights, bring it all the way down just to see how much of the highlights it can recover. Now you'll notice in the background here, the highlights are less harsh. I'm probably just going to bring it up a little bit so that we don't lose too much of, you know, the natural highlight look. Next, we're going to scroll down to the creative section and find Relight AI. What I'll do now is slide it all the way to the top and you're going to see how bright it makes the subject pop out. And I really love this feature. Obviously, that's a little too excessive. But what I like to do is slide it all the way to the right and then bring it down to a point where I feel like it's natural. Obviously, if I slide it all the way down, it's going to still be underexposed. So I'm going to bring it all the way up and then gradually bring it down maybe to somewhere around here where it looks fairly natural, right? So if I do a before and after here, you see how much of a difference that makes. So let's do an overall before and after. So this is the original image. Again, this was shot in raw, no profiles were set on it in camera so it's very flat and it's meant to be flat but as you can see he's quite a bit underexposed so we're going to do that before and after now in this example i followed the same concepts the same steps and here we have the original image and this is the edited version Again, without an external flash, without strobes, you can easily balance your exposure digitally with Relight AI. Now, obviously what I just showed you was only for portraits, but it can also work for landscape photography too. This example, it's not the best photo in the world. I was just testing some things out when I was in downtown Toronto. If I do a before and after, you're going to see it's severely underexposed in terms of the foreground there, but I was exposing for the background, intending to edit the foreground afterwards. And as you can see with the Relight AI, I've, I've been able to recover some of that detail here and it looks like a properly exposed image now i can clean up some of the dark areas here but you get my point now for someone like myself who mainly does portrait style photos i do some street photography too in my opinion this is such a useful tool and i've been able to go back to older photos that i've backlit and uh, recreate them and the the differences are night and day i'm not saying not to go out and get an external flash or some portable strobes if you have the money to invest in that and especially if you're doing this as a side hustle and you want to grow a photography business you need to learn that side of lighting but sometimes you just want to pack a light and use natural light and this feature gives you that option knowing that you can expose for the background and not worry about the subject being underexposed. 
This kind of feature gives people like us that opportunity to produce images that they see in their head without buying all that extra gear. So until the next video, get out there, hit record, create, and I'll see you when I see you.